This one's going to be on a lightweight PDF viewer called Mew PDF. It's supposed to be designed for people that have shitty computers. And uh, you want to load, you know, your PDF real quick, okay? Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. So I have some of my textbooks. And this one was my cellular biology book. It's about 800 megs, okay? It's uh, the largest one I have here. And we'll see how it loads. So I just double click on it and it loads. Look at that, All right? and browse through the page no no issues I have some other ones for examples like this one 500 it should load you know almost the same I guess so that's that one this one it's uh, physics about 112 here megs look at that loads All right so I mean if you use like maybe your laptop or something it doesn't have like a, a huge amount of power or whatever you can use this instead of some of the default uh, Linux ones like the GNOME one sucks ass the XFC one it's okay but it sucks ass too it doesn't load that fast uh, for my books okay but yeah this is what I would probably recommend for people that wants to load their PDF uh, real quick and they do have some hotkeys in here too it's kind of like Vim hotkeys and show you here man mu PDF so we'll look at some hotkeys here. So first of all, you can actually well let me make it a little bit bigger as you can see here. All right, so we can make this uh, fit by uh, height here. So I do capital H, all right? So shift H. There we go. Uh, rotating it, you can rotate left and right. So shift L to rotate it left, whatever you want to do. And R is for right. And this one is uh, Vim hotkeys for you know left, up, down, you know left, right, and all that. So for example, if I do uh, what's that? J is to go down, K is to go up. Uh, H is uh, well, that's H is the left, but L is right, right? H and L, so on and so forth. You can actually use your arrow keys too. The arrow keys is just up and down. Uh, if you use left and right, it's actually next page and, you know, backwards the page. So, that's that. Uh, zoom in, zoom out is plus, minus. All right, plus, minus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what else you can have in here? Let me see here. Yeah, okay. This this one's pretty cool, too. It's for uh, Mark. Kind of like the same thing in Vim. It's kind of like bookmarking. Right, you bookmark a page and you want to go back to it real quick. There's a, f a few ways to do it. The, the normal way is just the M, and that's only to bookmark one page. So let's say, for example, you get a page here. Okay, let's say this stupid picture here, right? You push M, and it saves it in the bookmark, whatever. And then you can go to a different page, or whatever. Like we're on page 16, and then you push T, you always go back to that uh, marked page here. Uh, if you want to do this with several pages, because by default, if you do that, it's just one page only, right? If you want to do that for multiple pages, you use this here uh, to save in your register. So let's say, for example, you want to um, let's do a different page here. Let's say this goofy picture here, right? Uh, you do, uh, what was that? 1M, 1M, right? And let's say you go to another page or whatever. Let's say this picture, we put it 2M, right? And whenever we go to any page or whatever, uh, you can go 1T, you always go to this one, 2T, you always go to this one. So 1T, 2T, good way to hop around uh, pages to look um, without, you know, going to the correct page or whatever it is. Uh, you can just bookmark it like that. Um, that's about it, I think. Oh, yeah, the other ones are um, like Vim commands. You want to go to exact page. So you you ever use the G hockey, you know what it is, right? So let's say you want to go to page 55. So you hit, uh, let's do it in a different number, 56, 56 G, and it goes through there. Or you want to go to uh, page uh, 89, 89 G, and you go there real quick. Uh, so that's that. As far as for searching text, you know, you just hit the slash here, and hit slash, and we'll search for uh, motion or something. Right, and there you go, it finds the, the word motion here. You hit N for the next uh, occurrence of it. Or Shift N to go backwards. Right. 
uh, that's, that'd be it, I think. But another ones that you can want to look at is uh, if you want to do like color or grayscale. I'm not sure why you want to do that, but you can turn off the color if you want, right? Uh, the other ones for, I guess, if you want to read at night, you can invert the colors. So look at that, you can invert it. So you don't want to blind your eyes, you can do that. Anyways, pretty cool program. Um, I like the hotkeys because if you use Vim hotkeys, it'll translate to other programs. And this is just another program that uses Vim hotkeys. And as far as for program, yeah, I would recommend it. You know, all the other PDF sucks ass anyway. So use this one if you want the, you know, to load your PDF real quick. Anyways, that'll be it for this one.